Hi, this is Mitchell Langley with a reminder on how to get into your YouTube editor and to make um, your video and then make edits on your video and then get it to your Google Drive. So the first thing you'll need to do is sign into your Google account, whether you start off at Gmail or just a regular Google search screen, that's fine. Just make sure you're logged in. And then you're going to want to go to your apps grid. And make sure you're signed into your school email, obviously. Hit the YouTube icon. When you get to the YouTube icon, the easiest way to get to video editor is to hit the upload button. After you hit the upload button, you're going to see that video editor is on the right hand side in that toolbar. Go ahead and hit edit. And this is where you're going to create your videos and do your video editing. This is a place where you can do, since it's online with YouTube, you can do it anywhere you have internet access, whether it be a Chromebook, a PC, Mac, whatever you have. Uh, you'll you'll be able to access this and you'll be able to work through it. As long as you have internet, you're good. Um, each of your individual videos, again, you are going to work on. And when you are done with your individual video, I'm going to show you a way that you can pull that out. So for now, I'm just going to grab a couple photos. So we went to the photo link. Um, I'm hitting photos. I'm going to grab some photos that I have on my computer. So I'm going to hit upload. Select photos. Now, if we're using photos for the project, we have to make sure that we use Creative Commons or public domain photos and make sure that it's OK to actually use those. Um, I'm going to grab just a couple here. Okay, it looks like we can do one at a time. So that's fine. I just need two is good enough. Uh, once we have the photos uploaded, it's as simple as dragging and dropping those in. So you put it in wherever you want to put it. If I want to add text on top of a photo, click on the text, enable text, and then simply type it into the box. Make sure that your text, if you put on top of a photo or on top of a video, it fits the constraints of the video. If it doesn't, then you'll run the risk of it running off the edge of the screen when you actually create it. If it doesn't fit in the box that's provided, obviously we have a size. We can change the size of the text to make sure it fits. We can also align it so it looks better on the screen. Um, change the font size, style, the, the height of the banner that is holding the text so I can shrink it down a little bit more so more of the photo shows. Um, and then of course the opacity of the banner so this gray box we can make it darker or lighter. Once we have that set, click off of the photo on the timeline again. I can grab another photo, pull it down, and take care of that. Um, you can add transitions between your photos. Not necessary, but you can do that. Um, most documentaries, they, they don't have a crossfade between photos. It just flips back and forth. And that's fine. If you're looking for information, uh, videos, and so forth, the best place to do is look for them in the uh, Creative Commons and search through. Uh, I'll go through that detail in class, so just a reminder, this is where it is. Okay, once you have it all set, you want to give your, your individual photo or individual videos a name. So so you give it um, whatever name Mr. Mr. DeBar tells you your role is and your topic. I would go that route. I'm just giving one. For the sake of having one, create the video. Okay, it's going to take a while for the video to process. Now, on your individual videos, it is okay to set those so they're private. That's fine. So, if you don't want the world to see them, that's okay. Click on the little pencil setting that takes you to the info and settings, and you can set that as private, and that's fine. Hit save changes. When it's done processing, you'll be able to find it by going to YouTube 
and then finding your video manager and then clicking on your videos. Okay, all my videos should show up. This one looks like it's about done processing, so let's double check it. As long as it opens and plays, then it's done. It's ready to go. Yep, ready to go. So I'm going to go back. Okay, I went to my channel. Once you click on my channel, then very simply go over, click on video manager. Double check when your video has a thumbnail, which is a few minutes, it'll have a thumbnail. Uh, then it's ready to pro uh, process and download. Um, you can open it up by clicking on either the thumbnail or you can click on the link on the side of it. Double check and make sure it plays. I've already done that. So uh, next step would be if you are if you have created an individual video, click on the little drop down arrow, download the MP4. That's a video format. And we're going to go ahead and drop that in the videos folder. So navigate to wherever you're going. If you're in the Chromebook, it'll put in a temporary download folder, which is fine, because we're going to immediately re-upload it. Okay, so whatever it's named, go ahead and fire, fire it away. Once it's downloaded, I'm going to log in to Google Drive. Switch back over. Okay, when I'm in my Drive folder, I want to make sure I find the shared folder that we talked about in class. Click into the shared folder for your project that's shared with your, your group members and your, especially your video editor. Make sure you're in that folder. Hit new, file upload, find your video. And then you can drop it into that folder. And once you have it in that folder, then your video editor will be able to download those and then re-upload those to his or her YouTube editor to compile those all into one video. Make sure that you, you um, as the video editor, your final video that you put together is shared either unlimited or public, whichever way Mr. DeBar specifies that you need to do it. That way he has access to it as well.